y'all please don't drag me for this bun like i know it's dry and i got this if y'all wanted to see how my color was holding up this is it like a little over a week later so she's still in there she's not as bright but she's still in there but she's gonna be gone r.i.p gray-haired shay My name is Shayla, but you can call me Shay, and today I have a very special video for you guys once again. In today's video, I'm going to be, actually, no. But before I even introduce what today's video is going to be about, just press the like button because before, I already know that you're going to like this video. I can already see it in your future. So you might as well just like it now, show me that support, give me that like so that you can get your girl out there and that other people will see my videos, all right? So drop a like for me right quick. And then also, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, subscribe, like, <laughs> I don't know where y'all live, but where I live, one day it be 50 degrees, one day it be 75, one day it be one degree, one single degree, and the next day it be 90. I don't know what's going on, but look, you gotta be ready. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna give you guys a few tips on how I keep my hair nice and moisturized in these winter months because we cannot neglect our hair out here. We gotta switch up the routine to cater to our hair's needs. You feel me? All right, so getting right into it, finally. Tip number one, and honestly, you should be doing this all the time, but especially during the winter months, you want to make sure that you are deep conditioning. Six. Let me tell you something, a regular wash day, a regular condition, that's cool and all, but it's not gonna cut it. That will not cut it. Not in these months, not with this cold and dry air all up in your hair, all right? You need to make sure that you are deep conditioning, making sure that all of that moisture and all of that greatness and all of the benefits that come for deep conditioner are getting locked into your hair so that your hair stays nice and soft, nice and moisturized and just great throughout your week until you get to your next wash day. Some of my favorite deep conditioners are, the first one is the um, Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle, definitely a fave. Um, that was in my wash day routine video, the first video I ever posted. But yeah, that was in my wash day routine video. I'm gonna link that down below. That's a great deep conditioner. I think you guys all should try it. And then second, another deep conditioner that I feel is slept on, like, nobody really messes with this deep conditioner. Y'all need to get with the program because this is that girl. This. Africa's best hair mayonnaise. Africa's best hair mayonnaise. This is a um, treatment for weak, damaged hair. It's kind of like a, um, I use it as a deep conditioner, but it's kind of like a deep conditioner protein treatment times two. It's a protein treatment and a deep conditioner all in one. And it will get you together. Like, I'm probably gonna do um, a review or something. I'm just gonna do something where I put this on my hair. Cause let me tell y'all something. This is that one. Yes. Yes. Tip number two. My second tip is going to be protective styling. In the winter, you'll see a lot of girls with natural hair. They'll have their hair in some cute little box braids, some twists, some faux locks, or whatever they gotta do because they know that this winter air is rough on your natural hair. So having some sort of style that is keeping your hair protected and keeping your hair intact and locking in all of the moisture is definitely a great idea personally i'm just i'm just extra like i just i do a little bit too much i like to change my hair up. i like to do different stuff i like to touch my hair which i need to calm down yeah i need to calm down with all that but yeah protective styling is definitely a good idea to do in these winter months because it'll keep your hair protective anything that'll keep your hair away from all this winter air is a bonus you feel me? So, um, yeah, even if you're just wearing scarves, whether it's buns, braids, twists, you don't always have to like add extensions or whatever, even little styles you can do yourself. I'm actually gonna start doing tutorials on some protective styles that I do during the winter because I know it can be hard out here. People be charging an arm and a leg for some box braids and we don't got time. So, um, and be one of your hair washed, and be one of your hair blow dried, detangled, washed, and be charging extra, like. They be doing too much. So I'm gonna get y'all together. I'm gonna help y'all out with some um, some cool little protective styles you can do yourself. Anyway, next, <laughs> tip number three. Tip number three is just to do something to your hair every single day. 
I know that you can like um, just get in the habit of you do your wash day routine and you're good for the rest of the week. You just do whatever throughout the week. No, no ma'am, no, that is not what we're going to do. Usually for me, if I have a wash and go or a twist out, whatever I have, if I'm doing a little dusty bun, like y'all know I be doing, I make sure I do something to my hair every morning and every night. And it might be just getting a spray bottle filled with water, um, some oils or some aloe vera juice and just spraying my hair down, giving me a little spritz. Just give it something because I don't know about y'all, but my hair be dry. Like, yeah. So any chance you get to give your hair a little bit moisture, just get, keep your spray bottle on deck. Give it a little spritz every now and again just to bring her back to life. And that'll definitely, definitely get you together. <laughs> Tip number four. Tip number four is something that I need to take my own advice because I'm really bad with this. Do not over manipulate your hair. In the winter months, the air is a lot more dry, the air is more rough, and your hair is a lot more prone to breakage. So the more you're touching and twisting and braiding and slicking your edges back, the more you're doing stuff to your hair, the more prone it is to breakage. So, yeah. You definitely wanna make sure that you're keeping your hair in styles that are as low manipulation as possible. So, your washing goes, your twist out, your braid out. Try not to do too much, because yeah. This cold air is not playing with us, and it will break your hair off if you are not too careful. So make sure, whatever you do, you can do whatever styles you wanna do, but make sure that you are paying attention. If you um, laying your edges every day, doing your little slick little bun, your little slick little ponytail, and you start to see your edges ain't as much as they used to be, or they slide them back a little bit, put the brush down, put the toothbrush down, put the gel down, put the edge control down. It's time to let it go. It's time to let them free because mm -mm. no ma'am, not in these winter months. Your hair ain't gonna bounce back like it did in the summer. Tip number five. Tip number five is to pay attention. You need to make sure that you are aware of if your hair is shedding more or if your hair is, when your hair is dry or when your hair is more moisturized, just pay attention to what your hair is doing. Cause a lot of times I'll be in the shower, I'll be detangling my hair, everything's cool and this clump will just come out and I'll be like, Oh, um, we're just gonna pretend I didn't see that and just throw it away. But we need to pay attention. You, you gotta pay attention. Don't be like me. Pay attention to what your hair is doing because if you notice more breakage than usual, then you need to switch up the routine. So throw in that protein treatment, throw in that um, extra little spritz because this is the season of having no edges. This is the season. And we don't want that. We wanna prosper in every season, okay? So pay attention to what your hair is doing. Pay attention and act accordingly to the needs of your hair. <laughs> tip number six. Whew, tip, num tip number six is gonna be no drying shampoos. All right. First of all, you shouldn't be using those shampoos that are drying your hair out, period. But in the winter, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Being outside, being in the elements, your hair is already um, dry, your scalp is already dehydrated, your hair is already susceptible to breakage, and just everything is already going against your hair. So adding on stuff that isn't helping your hair, that ain't it. Try some moisturizing shampoos, co-washes, just please, don't be using these shampoos that will strip all your hair of every little bit of moisture that was left in it. Let it, let it hang on to the little bit that it has. I mean, come on now. In this season, you should not be putting anything in your hair that isn't helping it. <laughs> Tip number seven. Another thing that I don't do myself and I need to I need to work on. Try to cut down on using gels as much as possible. Gels are the devil. <laughs> it's like, no, they're not. But gels can be very damaging to the hair. A lot of times they have alcohol in them and other ingredients that really dry out the hair. So you wanna make sure that you're not overdoing it. Don't throw your hair up in a bun every day. The slick back bun, you cannot do a slick back bun every day of your life. I know, sometimes we be in that awkward stage where stuff don't really look right when it's out and it's better just to pull it back. But let me let me just tell you, I understand that, but some days you gotta make that sacrifice. Wear your hair out, throw the scarf on, do what you gotta do. Just you cannot, you cannot use that gel every single day. Please, please don't do it. Your hair is already going through enough. It does not need that extra layer. Once again, do not use any products that are not gonna be helping your hair in this season. Tip number eight. I feel like 
I knew this rule, but I didn't really think about it that much. And it's definitely a good rule to make sure you have in your mind. Okay. So a lot of times in my videos, I would recommend that you use oils in your hair, like olive oil, coconut oil, tea tree oil, all that good stuff. If you're doing like scalp massages, or I'll use them after a twist out, or when I'm taking down my twist, and just stuff like that. But the thing about using oil <laughs> in your hair is that the main purpose that we're using oil for is to seal in the moisture that you have in your hair. So oil itself isn't going to, isn't gonna do it. Like, you need something before you put that oil on, you feel me? So if you use the um, the LCO method, which is liquid cream oil, don't leave the C out, don't leave the L out. You can't just add, you can't just add oil to dry hair. Adding oil to dry hair is just gonna um, do nothing. So make sure that you have some type of moisturizing cream, leave-in conditioner, pudding, curl, twisting, custard, whatever you gotta do. Just before you put the oil on, make sure you have some type of moisturizing product in your hair because the oil's job is to seal in the moisture. And if there's no moisture there, what is it doing? Your hair's just oily at this point. And that's not what we want. We don't want dry hair, but we don't want oily hair. Absolutely not. We want moisturized hair. <laughs> so yeah, definitely make sure that before you put on any type of oils, you have some type of moisturizing product in your hair so that your oils aren't just sitting on top and being greasy and oily and that they're actually sealing on the moisture that's in your hair so that when you go out into the cold and dry elements outside that you have a little, little layer of protection, a little layer of armor just helping you along the way. Yeah, that was tip number seven. Tip number eight, develop a routine. You wanna make sure that you're sticking to some sort of steps, some sort of process that you are doing to make sure that your hair stays moisturized. So don't just like skip out on your deep conditioning like and be like, oh, I'll do it next week, do it next year, next month. No, um, <laughs> do it now. Stick to a schedule every week, every two weeks. If you can't do every week, make sure that you're doing your process, whether it's I wash my hair, I condition, I deep condition, I do my little hot oil treatment, whatever it is that you do. Just make sure that you're sticking to some sort of routine so that your hair has some tender love and care in its life. You know, give it something, treat yourself, treat yourself, self care, you know, stick to a routine and your hair will thank you for it. I promise you. If you want your hair to be moisturized and you want to have results and you want to see a difference in your hair, stick to a routine. Make sure you're making it work. It's like with anything, working out, studying, whatever else you do, working, you have to have a routine if you want to see results, you feel me? So yeah, do the same thing for your hair. Yeah, so those are my tips for keeping your hair moisturized in these cold winter and fall months. Um, I hope you guys benefit from this video in some type of way. Comment down below any tip that you feel you need to follow. I know a lot of these tips called me out because I do not be following them. But I will. I promise y'all. I'm gonna, y'all need to hold me to it. Comment down below and tell me. Sis, follow your own advice. Comment down below any tip that I gave you that might have dragged you a little bit or any tip that you agree with, any tips that you don't agree with. Let me know what y'all think about what I'm saying here. And before we finish this, if you didn't like in the beginning of the video, I told you you were gonna like this video. I told you, now come on. So make sure you like this video before you click off. If you have not liked yet, make sure you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed and share this video. Any friend that you, you know their hair has been dry, you know they'll be coming to you like, girl, my hair is a mess. Refer them to my channel. I will help them. I will get them together. You feel me? So yeah. Comment, like, share this video. And I will see you guys in my next video next week. Let me know anything you guys want to see. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!